Welcome to our Tuesday edition of the Snooze. Now, on the air, we provide a top five Tuesday each week, and today on the Snooze, we're going to give you one of our top five reasons how we think we could improve the BCS. Mr. Brooks, you're first. My top and chief reason here is they need to determine what the BCS is for. John, when you look at this, and, and by definition, it is to determine the two best teams and to place them in a game for a national championship. Because you had uh, the AP poll and uh, the coaches poll, which were splitting national championships. Now, I see the problem as being when you do that, you need to determine whether your main goal is revenue or whether your main goal is reputation. Because let's face it, we're dealing with amateur athletes here. These athletes are not getting paid. So I think the uh, intent of the game should be played just a tad bit different. If you determine whether it's reputation or revenue, I think as fans now, we won't feel duped when we see a better matchup or when we, when we see something that is revenue generated. Um, and I think that's I think that's the first step that the BCS needs to do. I always feel duped, so I'm not used to it. <laughs> but uh, one of the reasons in my top five is I think we should have a plus one game, an and one game, whatever you want to call it. Let's just get to that point. That seems like a compromise everybody's ready for. Now, here's how you do it. To get the administrators of the schools on board, you say, tell you what, in addition to the $13 million you got for the BCS berth, we're going to give each of the two teams that reach the plus one game $15 million a piece. That's a one out of five. $15 million each mm. that you don't have to split with anybody, conference members or otherwise. Your money. Where's that money going to come from? The plus one game becomes a pay-per-view game. And America will charge, uh, will pay nine ninety five dollars per household to see the game. Invite friends over, a buck a piece, bring a 12-pack, sodas, bring a pizza, whatever. America will pay through the nose for it. And all the revenue from the pay-per-view after you've paid $15 million a piece to the schools, the NCAA can disperse however it wants, via Title IX, to golf teams, swimming programs, however they want to disperse it to all the member schools, I'm fine with it. It would be a windfall of cash. Hmm. That's just one of the reasons we each have. You want to see top five for each of us? Go on to the website. Check out our blogs at longhornstation.com. We'll see you tomorrow.